last time we spoke with the folks from Teen Wolf, we just had a bunch of actors in here. You know, Tyler, it's wonderful to see you. You look fantastic. Great to have you back. Yes, but we didn't have the man behind the people. They didn't know how to talk, did they? No, they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. For, they had no lines. <laughs> it was all off the cuff. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And let's talk about the inception, where it came about, and, and what's going to happen. Okay, uh, for the third season, or do you want to talk Teen Wolf in general? The I want to talk Teen Wolf in general, and then I want to get into the third season. But thank you Great. for not bearing the lead. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was a movie, a Michael J. Fox movie, and uh, MTV came to me and said, uh, would you be interested in uh, turning it into a TV series? Were and you a I, fan? I was a huge fan. I loved the movie when I was a kid. Um, yeah, and I love Michael J. Fox, Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, there's a DeLorean here. Yeah. There's a hoverboard over there, Is too. There really? Yeah. Where's the DeLorean? That's DeLorean, awesome. if you go way over, it's called The Block. Uh -huh. It's just past Jenny. That happened, folks. It's a terrible joke. But uh, it's... <laughs> Shut up! Jenny from the block. Um, <laughs> uh, it's over there. Some guy put it together. It's very cool. So, of course, That's you're right. a big fan of Teen Wolf. How about yes. Teen Wolf also? You a big fan of that one? Teen Wolf 2, Oh, you sorry. Mean? I was confused. Yeah, see, I know, I know the Jason Bateman one. Uh, yeah. You know, not the best sequel of all time. No. No? Don't tell Jason uh, and uh, the, the idea was to uh, take the series and make it more like the, the Lost Boys. Make okay. it kind of funny, scary, uh, suspenseful. So I think we did a pretty good job. We're into our third season now. Uh, well, yeah, I think yeah. so. What's very cool about you being a fan of the first one is we have, well, a, a, a clip of, of a fan of the first ones. Can we roll this, Jesse? Yeah, yeah. All right. Great. Look at this thing. It projects images. Recognize that character? Okay, so I'm just walking oh, around great. the floor, and I found someone that I think you should meet. I'm here with Lindsay. But Lindsay, why don't you explain who you're dressed as? Because it's just awesome. I am the amazing Styles Solinsky, if he was a girl. <laughs> so a female version of Styles awesome. from Teen Wolf, it doesn't get any cooler than that. So take us through uh, your whole outfit. Because she's wearing the red hoodie. Okay, so basically I figured if Styles was a girl, he's obviously, or she's obviously not going to have a buzzed head. So I went with a shorter haircut because obviously Styles likes to keep his hair short. I went with the same shoes and about the same jean type oh that God, he would wear because so I don't think that awesome. that would change if he was a girl. Um, instead of having the signature red hoodie that is known pretty much by all the fans as him wearing, I, I went with a leather hoodie. hooded jacket so I can do the same like little red riding situation. <laughs> and I figured he'd still have a penchant or she would have a penchant for plaid. So. Absolutely. And a bill get, okay, Beacon Hills the cross. Do you think Styles secretly wants to be a werewolf? I think he would if it, it made other people notice him a little bit more. Because obviously when P Peter offered him the bike, he seriously thought about it and Peter said that he wanted it even if he was trying to convince himself that he didn't. So I think it's more about what it might be able to give him than actually wanting to have all the, the powers and the gifts that go along with it. I think it's actually getting the acknowledgement that he hasn't had yet. <laughs> uh, I just have That's to say, great. I just have to say, uh, with cosplay, it's all about commitment. Uh, turn your head so we can see your moles, because you Oh my have god, are you kidding me? Wow. That's detail. It is. How funny. <laughs> we all love Dylan O'Brien's <laughs> moles. <laughs> Dylan, we love your moles. Uh, but in terms of style, Hopefully none of them wolf, become cancerous. I guess we'll have to wait for season yeah. three. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, that's a glorious little segue there. Oh my god, how funny, mm. dude. The moles? Very yeah, nice. man. Down to the moles. Wow. People go crazy. Can we get Dylan to see that? I would <laughs> love for Dylan to see that. Yeah, he's got to see that. Isn't that great? Is that's that going to happen? Stell's going to werewolf it up in season three? Uh, you know something? We're thinking about a Halloween episode, and we have an idea. Ooh, good so, idea. Really? Can't tell you much about it right now. Do they tell like you that. anything? No, no, no. No, absolutely. I don't tell him anything. Absolutely nothing. He doesn't I know, know I anything nothing. until the script comes out. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. It's and then bizarre. When this, and then when the script comes out, does it say, keep your mouth shut or we'll dot, or dot, we'll dot? We'll kill you. Yeah. There's no dot, dot, dot. It's straight up murder. Yeah. That's kind of. That's <laughs> very... I have killed people on the show before. <laughs> Actually, the first season, I threatened a 15 year old girl. Who, who uh, told... This is true. This is, is this absolutely is true. true. Who is, this, is this part of the show, right? It's not something that we need to hold you down for. <laughs> no, I threaten teenagers all the time now. Oh. It's, it actually, it's amazing. Well, sometimes they threaten me on Twitter. Um, because... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's back and chick. forth. You know? she, she revealed on our Facebook page that Peter Hale was the alpha. And I had to call her upper, mo um, upper mom and, and say, um, please take that down immediately. So I believe she was banned from the Facebook page. What? For, yeah. for, for giving away spoilers, well, how'd she, how did she find out? 
Uh, she was uh, the daughter yes. of one of our crew members. Ah, I see. Yeah. And she threatened to post the strips? She said she, well, she told me on Facebook, she's like, I didn't know. And then she said, uh, I, I said to her, it's on Facebook that you'll post the scripts. <laughs> what are you doing? She said she would post the scripts <laughs> on... And we like to keep our show a secret. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's like a lot more fun that way. Mm -hmm. And so... I mean, that's the biggest cross to bear, because fans want to know because they're fans, mm -hmm. but yeah. you want to have a surprise. Yes. It's very hard. It's a fine line. You're so great. we keep it on lockdown now. I'm very secretive. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there's a lot of drama within the last season, the new pack, um, Alice's uh, family death. So what does that mean, the new pack mean for everyone? Uh, the new pack is actually going to be threatened uh, by an even newer pack. Uh, the alpha pack of werewolves who have come into town and they're going to be providing a uh, some good villainy on our show. We've got a lot of new characters, uh, all these alpha werewolves who have formed their uh, pack of their own uh, very democratically. Oh. Um, so it's going to cause trouble for Derek. A democratic alpha <laughs> formation? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not as hierarchical as the others. So I feel like these are all try, words try repeating that, that word. Right now. Yeah, me too. That's a is real it, word. Is it really yes. hierarchical? Hierarchical? Yes. Hierarchical. I like it. You're looking I at a writer here. I've done my research. Oh, I bet. I think that's cool. I believe you. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there still going to be a love triangle between Styles, Lydia, and Jackson? Uh, not anymore, apparently. Uh, we found out uh, recently that Colton Haynes is not returning to the show, so that's oh. going to be, uh, there are going to be some reconfigurations huh. of, mm -hmm. uh, of character drama, but uh, we will move on. So, wow. Yeah. Um, was there a lot to alter after finding that out? Um, well, we're going to have to move some things around. We did have a very good plan for an arc for his character, and mm -hmm. who knows in the future, maybe he'll come back and we can play mm -hmm. that out. But for now, we're going to move forward with uh, a lot more twists and turns. There's a big overarching mystery for the show mm -hmm. um, that has to do with uh, Scott, Derek, and these new alphas, um, and a, uh, a, a threat that comes into town as well. Uh, that has to do with the alphas, so I'm What's being incredibly threat? vague. I can't you tell are. you. I know it's yeah. rough when you come to these things. Um, I've got to be a little bit obtuse about it to to not give away the secrets. And I'll be uh, acute. Yes. Oh wow! <laughs> I, 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 that was I, awful. I, I don't know what that means. Even. <laughs> but the but the but the Take face Tyler I made. Tyler <laughs> off birthday card. Yes. No. <laughs> did you know my birthday's in five days? I did. That's why I said it. I totally didn't. He's gonna be uh, 21. Uh, 21. Uh, you're dude. gonna be 21. Yeah. That's so interesting because there's this thing called alcohol. When you hit 21, <laughs> Can I say it again? it's really fascinating. But what it does when you imbibe it, it actually dehydrates you. Okay. So you want to have Pedialyte with you when you drink. I just Pedialyte. saved your life. Like a baby. Yeah, oh yeah. A yes, cute. like a baby. So cute. <laughs> you just saved my life. Thank you very much. How did last season leave Scott? Scott, uh, Allison broke up with him. and But he's a man. He's mature. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to be mature about this and grown up. And I'm going to say that I'll wait for you because I know that you still love me. But I'll let you do your thing. It's not really mature saying you're going to wait. That's kind of it's whining. Just, it's what, Is that it's, desperate? It's his line. Yeah. It's his line. I know, and I'm glad you're interpreting it well. I'm gonna, it's not mature. I'm, I've got to get in for a rewrite. Um, Waiting right. around forever because that always works. But to him, it's fate. It's ah. destiny. They are star-crossed lovers. Yeah, and he knows so. it. He sees it. Well, I guess in the magical world where werewolves exist, this could actually happen. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but not in real life. No, no way. You're waiting around, you're a dumbass. Yeah. But until she comes back to him, what are you mm -hmm. going to do? He's gonna uh, I am be going hero. to be a hero on extravagant scales. <laughs> 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 I don't know! You get a costume? That, okay, honestly, okay, so somebody asked me today, they're like, what uh, do you want ha to happen in season three? And I can't really, uh, you, your mind, whatever you write is going to be the coolest thing ever. So I don't really have a say, but I do think that this would be cool. Scott thinks he's a superhero one time, and he's like, Styles, I need a costume. And they make a costume. I kind of like that idea. See? Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Really <laughs> smart doing it here with a lot of people watching. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can tie that into the Halloween episode, mm -hmm. and you're like wearing a costume in, the, in Halloween, and you're like, what do you think of this? I think this could work. Like I'm testing it out. Yeah. Funny. See, this is how we write the show. I think that's really cool. It's, now, does it's you not have to how sign we write the show. This is not how it is. No, no, not no, not I, I, I like sit in my room and hang out. Well, you just hang out and yeah. wait. Just how, wait. How much time do you wait on set? I don't wait that much. I work a lot. Yeah. But sometimes, like there, there was a day where I waited 11 hours before I did one shot. Whoa. And it was the last shot of the night, and I was supposed to be working all night, but I, I, I fell asleep a lot, so that was nice. Yeah. And I discovered a. I was looking through a picture, of me, my girlfriend, my dad, and at my house, and there was a ghost in the picture. 
So that's what I do in my downtime. You look for ghosts? Yeah. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for hunter. it. It's scary, though. It's a really scary picture. Mm -hmm. I would show you if I had it, but I don't think I do. Ghost in the picture. A, I swear. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Did I not show you? No. I showed a bunch of different you people. You cast the right dude, man. <laughs> it was perfect. He's, I take direction very well. He's pretty yeah. on camera. He is pretty, period. Yes. Thank you. He's charming, well too, isn't he? Demon, thank Disarmingly you. Disarmingly charming, very handsome. Uh, any idols here at Disarmingly New York Comic Disarmingly charming. That's what I get described as That's like a title for a TV show. It's my new really? Business. That's yeah, on my I business card, actually, uh, that I'm having printed at Kinko's. Uh, FedEx. Any idols here that you guys have met at New York Comic Con? Just you, man. Of? You stop it. I swear, dude. You shut your face. I actually... It's wonderful talking to you. You make it easy. <laughs> I'm actually a huge Comic-Con fan. I've been to the Comic-Con before I ever got into movies and TV. Really? Um, I love the action figures. Okay. It like, takes me back to my childhood. I love walking through and looking at all the action figures because they're amazing these days. Isn't it? Don't you feel ripped yeah. off? I do. I do. I, I had... <laughs> we got this. Star... Yeah. It was, it was one little articulation. Hold basically. the gun. Yeah. <laughs> and Luke, when he first came out as a Star Wars action figure, had a yellow lightsaber. There's no yellow lightsaber in the movie. He had a yellow lightsaber. I and had that one. Yeah. yeah, and at the yellow. You had it right. Yeah. And at the end of the lightsaber, what was there? It was like a little thing that you pushed. It was a, you pushed yeah. it, but on the end of the lightsaber was, was a, a little, little tiny little plastic, plastic piece thing. that stuck yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are old. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, we are. It was a tube and a little piece. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to wrap him up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse, aren't I? Oh, please. Hey, that's like a Teen Wolf reference right there. Let's look. Oh, yes, it is. Doghouse. Very good. Nice uh, also nice a good record label. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for dropping by. Thank Always you. good to talk to you. Pleasure meeting you. Very nice Continue to meet you. Continue success with the new season. Thank you.